Okay, in question 11, we're told each day a company posts some small letters and some large letters. The company posts all the letters by first class post. The table shows information about the cost of sending a small letter by first class post and the cost of sending a large letter by first class post. So here's the small letters and here's the large letter. One day the company wants to post 200 letters. Okay, so we want to post 200 letters. The ratio of the number of small letters to large letters is 3 to 2. 70% of the large letters weigh this, the rest weigh uh, that. Work out the total cost of posting 200 letters. Okay, the first thing, this is going to be worth quite a lot of marks, it's worth 5 marks. Why don't we just, we know we've got 200 letters in total, why don't we at least split um, the 200 letters into small letters and large letters using that ratio. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I like drawing a box for this. So there's a box and the whole box is worth 200 letters. And we're splitting it in the part in three to two. So roughly like that, three to two, i.e. there's three parts in here and there's two parts in here. So in total you have one, two, three, four, five parts. So what goes in each box? Well, 200 divided by five, which is 40, must go in each box. So 40, uh, 40, 40, 40, and 40. So uh, therefore you have 120 um, large letters and you've got yourself two parts. Uh, no, sorry, you've got um, small letters, large letters is three to two. So these were the small, these were the large. So therefore, you must have small letters, you must have 120, and large letters, you must have 80. Okay, now it says 70% of the large letters weigh the following. Right, so how do you work out 70% of the large letters? So we want to work out 70% of 80. Okay, 70% of 80. So, and uh, that is, they're going to be between zero and 100 grams from here. And the remaining 30% of large letters are going to be the difference. So 30% of the 80 is going to be um, between 101 and 250 grams. Okay, so how could we work that out? Well, let's work out 10% of 80. 10% of 80 is clearly equal to 8. So 30% must be three times this. So this would be equal to 24. And 70% would be seven times this, which would be equal to 56. So we've worked out that 56 letters are, going, are zero to 100 grams of the large, and 24 uh, of the large are between 101 and 250. Now we are asked, work out the total cost of 200 letters by post. Okay, so uh, let's continue with that. So let's work out the cost of the small letters. So the small letters now, we've got small letters. And we know we have 120, and we know that each of the small letters costs 60p. Okay, so you multiply this by 0.60, right? Now you should know that 12 multiplied by 6 is equal to 72. So therefore, uh, 12 multiplied by 0 0.6 is 7.2 and 120 multiplied by 0 0.6 is 72 again. Okay, so therefore it's 72 pounds for the small and let's do the large. So for the large we've got, remember we've got 56 of them between 0 and 100 and they're 1 pound each. So we've got 56 multiplied by one pound, which is equal to 56 pounds. And also we've got 24 of them between 101 and 250, so we've got 24 of them at one pound 50. So we've got 24 of them at one pound 50. So 24 times one is 24, and 24 times 50p is 12. So we combine them, 24 at 12 gives me 36. So if we add these together, 36 add 56, is going to be equal to um, 92 and then add the 72 
you're going to get £164. So that's the total cost of all the letters, £164.